Ix is a writing-to-learning browser-based tool, and it is designed to capture, visually represent, and compare the knowledge structure inherent in a text, which can be used to identify individual learners' knowledge gaps and or misconceptions. The purpose of using Gix is to represent students' conceptual understanding of scientific texts to provide students with instant formative feedback on their conceptual understanding relative to an expert model and to provide instructors with analytics regarding gaps in class-level understanding. Gix can present students' writing in a graphical network and also provide the verbal description of similarity percentage of keyword matching. When a keyword is clicked, the keyword links help students understand how their keyword network looks when it is compared to their instructors, which provides students with instant formative feedback on their conceptual understanding relative to an expert model. Another way of providing students with instant formative feedback on their conceptual understanding relative to an expert model is from the missing link matching. The steps of creating Gix assignments are First, provide a writing prompt. It can be a reflection on an assigned reading, a summary of a lecture video, or anything. The videos can be placed right in this article content box, whether it is a YouTube link or a video with an embed link. In the writing prompt, you can also choose whether to provide a list of keywords to be included in the writing or not. Second, the answers can be provided as essay style text or a network map, that is, a network sequence with the provided keywords if you choose to provide a list of keywords, or the keywords you desire to see in students' writing. Third, provide the keywords and synonyms. This process takes thorough consideration. For example, if the keyword is not case sensitive, then you need to include both uppercase and lowercase versions as the accepted term. The same thing goes for the plural form of nouns. You might want to ask, how good is Gix grading? In other words, how close is Gix grading when it is compared to the instructor's grading? The left graph shows that with the 34 submissions, when we do the links comparison, R squared is 0 0.6366. This correlation is about 80%. This result aligns with another two tests. Eight out of the 34 students made multiple submissions. The top right graph is the link comparison of the similarity of Gix grading compared to the instructor grading. It shows that the R squared is 0 0.8437, and it means the correlation is about 92%. And again, a similar result, 89% correlation is received for the last of the multiple submissions. This slide shows how close Gix grading is when the distance is compared to the instructors. The left graph shows that with the 34 submissions, when we do the links comparison, R squared is 0 0.5066. That means the correlation is a little over 70%. This result aligns with another two tests. Again, 8 out of the 34 students had multiple submissions. The top right graph is the distance comparison of the similarity of Gix grading compared to the instructor grading. It shows that R squared is 0 0.5761, and it means the correlation is about 76%, and again, a similar result. 74% correlation is received for the last of the multiple submissions. Although the correlations for the distance comparison are not as high as those of the link comparison, the correlations are over 70%.